Good afternoon everybody. This is Michelle with Creative Operation and I wanted to show you what I've been up to in my little craft room here. Um, I have three projects that I have been working on. This one is a mini album in a box and I'll show you that in a second. This is also a mini album in a box and then I have some cards. I had some Echo Park papers from um, the paper line was called Oh Snap and I bought them a while ago and hoarded them away and the other day I ran across a video on YouTube by Live Love Scrap and I will put the um, link to that in my uh, notes there um, on how to make your own cereal box with the uh, We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board and I thought well what an awesome idea that's where it all started and it ended up I made two different kinds of mini albums and boxes and then I made some cards so I just wanted to show you all of this real quick so I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way. And here is the cereal box that I made using Live Love Scraps tutorial. And it's really, really cool. I love the top closure here. And it is a really, really a good size box. Um, she made it thinking, um, I think she said that, you know, like it's great for like a gift box and whatnot. It's seven and a half wide by like eight and three quarters tall and it is about two and a quarter deep so it actually is is quite a large size and she had two different sizes she had a small one as well um, I didn't make the small one I just made the um, the bigger one and then when I got done with it I pulled out my Echo Park papers I decorated it and then decided something had to go in it so what I did was I made a mini album out of the rest of the papers. Now this paper line obviously is camera inspired and it had some really awesome stuff in it. Let me make sure I'm still in view. So I decided to make a kind of just a tag album, very simple um, to put inside. And I went through my stash and my hoard and, and uh, my hoarder stuff, I guess you could call it. My son says I'm a craft hoarder. Um, and I pulled out all my kind of um, camera film inspired pieces and just put them together. So um, I just made this kind of giant Polaroid mini album using some of the leftover papers that I had from the box project. And you can kind of see I kind of did the backs of the tags upside down, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. I added some big large tags that I had for my stash. I actually had to cut them down a little bit because these tags were huge when I bought them. I used um, the Polaroid pieces from the paper line and you know here's stickers and so anyways I just made a nice album to go with it. These pieces right here, these transparencies are by Creative Imaginations. Bought them a long time ago and, and I made it so that you can slip the pictures um, behind there. Lots of white space or beige space, manila space if you want to call it that, um, <laughs> for journaling. So I did that and it's, it's actually quite a big album and I'll kind of real quick flip through it. Um, and I know it's a little bit crooked. I'm sorry, guys. I hope you can see it. Yeah, you can see it pretty okay. So, um, anyway, so I made the album, you know, to go in the cereal box. Well, then I still had papers left over. And then my little brain went, well, I have wanted to make a Polaroid camera. And I've seen a bunch of people do it on, you know, YouTube and on blogs and stuff like that. But I really hadn't seen a good, um, well, I hadn't really seen a tutorial um, for the stuff that I had um, on hand. There was one tutorial I saw, and now I can't remember what, um, who it was, and I'd have to look it up, but um, she made a Polaroid out of a chipboard album, which was really, really cool, but I wanted to make a Polaroid, like, shaped piece and so anyway what I did was I dusted off my drafting skills from high school and I actually have a Polaroid camera that I can't use but I still have it and um, did some measuring on it and kinda came up with my own design and then the cool thing about it is I also wanted to make it functional so if you pull the drawer open here I made a little mini album with some of the leftover papers to put inside the drawer. And this is part of the paper line. 
um, I put a white back on this to create another paper line. These little teeny tiny embellishments here came from the actual packaging of the paper line. So I was able to actually, um, what do you want to say, recycle, um, reuse uh, the packaging material and not waste all these cute little images on the front that were showing you, you know, what images were in the pack. So, and these right here are pieces of the packaging as well, the pieces that show you what the paper line looks like inside the packaging. I use those squares to make Polaroid pictures. So I came up with this album. And this turned out really super cute. These are such that you can put a picture behind them. This is a piece of um, paper that was left over from the paper line. So I just decorated the back to make a little Polaroid mini album. This was a sticker. I put it on a piece of paper and then put black over the top of it to make a little Polaroid picture. So that is my little Polaroid project. This was kind of fun to do. The, um, the body of it is one piece of paper and I was able to kind of figure out how to do that. It would be, I, I don't even know how I would do a tutorial for this. I have no idea and if I could ever figure out how to do PDFs or something on my blog then maybe I can make the pattern and have it available but I haven't been able to figure that out. <laughs> Sorry guys. So then I had leftover papers and I just went to town making um, cards. So these are all cards left with leftover papers that I have and I hope you can see them all um, that I had left over from that so I actually used every single bit of that paper line that I could and I came up with two mini albums two boxes um, for the mini albums and then I came up with seven cards so that is what I wanted to show you oh I did want to tell you that um, some of these cards were inspired off of one sheet wonder let me grab it's from fast fantastic and um, I found a one sheet wonder thing and so some of those cards are based off that but then the other ones I just kind of did myself so anyway I'll put that link in um, the comments as well as the link to the cereal box cereal box project was awesome um, she did a really nice tutorial and it worked perfectly so um, I'll give you a link to that so I hope you enjoyed this little share that I had I hope you guys have a great day stay crafty bye